just weeks ago, you could buy a 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card graded PSA 9 for under $100. In fact, on the pit.com, we sold a copy of this card for $95 to one of our traders on April 11th. But thanks to the stimulus checks provided by the U.S. government during the COVID-19 crisis, this card has become a very popular target for collectors who are looking to own an iconic baseball card. And we just sold one of these three days ago for $188. So the card doubled within the space of not even two weeks. So what does this mean if you want to get into the car collecting game with Ken Griffey Jr. as one of your targets? So to, on today's uh, The Pit Market Movers Report, we're going to be talking about Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards. I'm sure lots of people are talking about these cards, but um, we want to take a little bit of a different approach to what's happening right now with Ken Griffey Jr.'s card market. Uh, so his, his card ex price explosion has been in part because of those checks, and in general, iconic cards across the hobby, such as Michael Jordan's rookie cards, just absolutely taking off in value. What's happened is, is people are getting lots of money that they ordinarily would not have to spend on cards. And, you know, obviously those checks are meant to uh, pay for expenses during time of, you know, a time of uncertainty. But, you know, spending a couple hundred dollars on a card like this uh, does kind of make sense if you're a serious collector. And especially now, you know, that that you that this card has now doubled in value um, while it may not it may not necessarily uh, you know maintain this upward climb it's important to point out that there are other Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards that have not followed the same trajectory and so originally uh, we were going to make a video about uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards under a hundred dollars and so the idea was is that you 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 could buy one PSA 9 for a hundred dollars and then buy you know X amount of other similar PSA 9 uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards but of course best laid plans you know what happens to those so um, because of because of this uh, because of the fact that this car jumped up just a couple days ago doubled in price uh, obviously that is no longer the case so if you were looking to get into 1989 upper deck Griffey rookie cards uh, you're now going to be looking at picking up two copies of the PSA 8 so here is the listing for the PSA 8 on the pit. So you'll see that there aren't any uh, actually listed for sale right now, but you uh, there are 14 current holdings, so you could put in a, a bid. So uh, this card, you know, we could essentially call it about a $50 card right now. Now the PSA 8, of course, is not nearly as sought after as the PSA 9 or, of course, the PSA 10, but the PSA 10 has jumped up to well over $1,000. So really out of the reach of most people, which is crazy considering that it was a card that was you know, $500 a year ago. So, you know, so one, one issue with, with, with making videos, of course, about card prices is that card prices can change drastically from one moment to the next. Um, however, uh, what does not change is the uh, popular, well, it can change, but what does not change nearly as much is the population of these graded cards. So, Let's take a look at the uh, PSA population, graded population of the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. So there are 73,000 of these cards uh, in circulation that have been graded. Now, of course, some have not necessarily been kept in the case, and they might have been cracked out. Uh, some of these lower grade ones may have been cracked out over time. Um, and put back into binders. But so out of 73,000, there are about 3,800 PSA 10s, 24,000 PSA 9s, and 30,000 PSA 8s. So now th that's a staggering number, but of course, you know, Ken Griffey Jr., an iconic player, one of the best players of all time. So, you know, even, even a card that has a population of 24,000 can still, you know, carry a, a pretty hefty price tag. And considering that, you know, it is the rookie card that most people chase. Of course, Ken Griffey Jr. has plenty of rookie cards. And um, so obviously the upper deck is not nearly um, the only one. 
Um, but it is the one that most people identify with, especially in the hobby, as you know, Upper Deck 89 was the first Upper Deck set. This was card number one in the set. So he launched essentially their entire brand. So so it has a lot of historical significance as well as, you know, it personally I think it probably is the best looking of all of the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards. It is my personal favorite of all of them, and I think that that's that is the, that is the you know the case. So I think I think the thing here is that um, the, to consider is so so say you have a, say you have a hundred dollar budget uh, and you wanted to buy a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Well, if you wanted to buy a PSA nine, you know, just a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, you could pay about a hundred dollars and have a PSA nine, but now because that card has you know doubled in value uh, due to the fact that everybody has suddenly gone and started buying them, I mean, there's been a lot of pent up demand for this card. Um, you can't even get a PSA nine anymore. You'd have to settle for a PSA eight or two. Um, so you could you could actually probably get a couple of these. Uh, the last the last one we, that we sold on the pit was forty four dollars. So I mean, obviously this card's gone up in value. So I mean, it might not even you might not even be able to get two of these at this point. Um, but the the reason that I mentioned the PSA eight is because the PSA eight is sort of people really don't collect PSA eights um, unless they are older cards, that, especially ones that are from before eighty five or so. Um, you know, when, when you're collecting, you know, 86 cards, you might get away with a PSA 8, but most people don't collect PSA 8s. Most people collect PSA 9s and PSA 10s because as a near mint, graded near mint, uh, you might as well just have this thing sitting in your binder pretty much. Um, so, so, yeah, so th this is not really a very attractive option. So what are the alternatives? So we're going to actually make a few videos. We're actually going to go over the alternatives to this card if you wanted to only spend a hundred dollars on King Griffey Jr. rookie cards. So the first of those alternatives and easily the cheapest among the graded options is the score rookie traded PSA 9. So this card um, is not really one that you usually see in the discussion when when Griffey Jr. cards are mentioned. Um, it's probably it's probably the least desired of all of them. Um, it, it's not a bad picture. I mean, it's 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 a decent looking card, um, but you know this is a card that you can easily get for under twenty dollars. In fact, if you really you know if you really wanted to, you could probably find um, you could probably you could probably get as many as six of these for under a hundred dollars, especially on the pit. The pit does have thirty three holdings of this card and does have a couple listed for sale for sixteen dollars. So this is a card that if you really wanted to, you actually could buy uh, you know five or six of very easily uh, for under a hundred dollars. So let's take a look at the population report for this card. Uh, so. It is number 100 T in the set. So there's 25,000 of these in existence, which is actually, when I, when I looked it up, I, that actually surprised me a little bit. I actually didn't expect there to be quite that many of this card, um, considering that it's not nearly as sought after. Uh, so there's 4,100 PSA 10s and 13,000 PSA 9s and 7,600 uh, PSA 8s. So um, you saw this card in the 9, you know, it was about 15 to $20. So... You know, it's obviously, um, you know, this is not nearly as desirable, but it is still a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. It is graded uh, mint condition. Uh, and also a PSA 10 of the same card you can uh, acquire for under $100 still. So so, so there, this is definitely an option. Uh, you could definitely pick up, you know, several of these, or you could decide to just buy one of these and, and be happy with it. Um, but you know, obviously, it's not the upper deck. But it's still, you know, it's still a good card. And there's actually, uh, you know, there's actually quite a few of these out there. Uh, it, and there's actually more PSA tens of this card than there are the upper deck. So, um, so this would be a nice alternative. And you know, if you really want a ten, you actually could get one for less than a a PSA nine, and not you know, not and not terribly much more than a PSA eight of the. Uh, of the upper deck. So this is one alternative. I mean, would you rather have six of these over, you know, one one PSA nine? Certainly not. Uh, of a upper deck, certainly not. Um, but now, you know, if you're looking at two hundred dollars for one PSA nine of upper deck, and you could buy, you know, ten or eleven of these for the same price. I mean, the thing about that is, of course, you know, these cards, you know, go up to say thirty dollars from twenty dollars. Um, you know. 
that's 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 a 50 percent gain whereas you know the other card the psa 9 you know you know you'd have to also see that card you'd have to see that card rise uh you know significantly to make the same amount of you know re return on investment essentially uh so if you know if you, if you just want these cards for your collection um you know obviously having the one upper deck versus six of another um so the question is, is this card really worth you know 20 percent or less of a upper deck uh you know two upper deck eights you know it's it's certainly not um but but yeah i mean that's just how that's kind of how the hobby is you know the hobby does uh decide that one card is better than all the others and we'll take a look at some of the other the other Griffey cards too, but just kind of, it's kind of staggering to look at, you know, you can buy six of this card for a hundred dollars and you can't even buy one of the upper deck for a hundred dollars anymore. So, so that'll be it for this first part. And we'll take a look at, uh, a different card in each other video. So stay tuned for more videos about Griffey rookie cards. Happy collecting everyone.